my friends. Welcome back. If you're new, my name is Nat Moran. I live in my truck camper with three dogs full time. And in today's episode, we are on the road east. I am currently in West Yellowstone, letting the dogs go for a little potty break. And then I'm gonna run into the market and then we're gonna drive through part of Yellowstone today. Must be something on the side of the road. when we were at the dog park not really sure but he's in really he's really in pain so I'm keeping an eye on that putting some ointments on him and stuff and uh, I have to help him up and down the the camper because he can't jump on his own and jump up it hurts his paws on a positive note this is my view from the camper The first day of actual travel. Yesterday was kind of a bonus day. Uh, I did go through Yellowstone, but I didn't really do a whole lot of filming. So we are going to the Theodore National Park in North Dakota. I've never been to North Dakota before, and I'm almost at 50 states. I just need a couple. North Dakota is one of them. So I'm gonna make some coffee and get on the road because it's like a six, five or six hour drive from where I'm at right now. I think today is the last day of the mountains. And when I say last day, I mean, there's just a tiny, oh, this side, there's just a tiny little bit of mountain um, left in the visual. So that's kind of sad, but I know that I will be back. So it's just temporary, but we're gonna be entering the prairie lands, I think today, but pay, uh, don't get discouraged. Maybe I'm telling myself that there will still also be some really cool stuff to see. So right now I'm gonna make some coffee and then we're gonna go. Now today, the winds are between 15 and 25 miles per hour. So that's okay. It's not ideal to drive this camper in the wind, but as long as it's under, I think 50, you should be fine. But really, I don't even like driving in 30. So we're gonna keep an eye on it. Might be an adventure. We might be staffing a lot just to make sure we don't tip over. But, um, you know, I'm pretty confident uh, in my setup. I'm going to check all my tie downs before I go, but we should be fine. But it's always good to be cautious. Oh, the wind just slammed the door shut. <laughs> so in the video where I talked about how I handled the three dogs, I uh, received a lot of feedback about the water and all that kind of stuff. I'm very appreciative of everybody who took the time to comment on my video. But just to give you all peace of mind, I do not drink any of the water that's in my camper. I get spring water or purified water from the grocery store. Um, or I purify my own water before I drink it. I really don't use the water in the camper unless I need to clean up stuff, use the toilet, or um, use the washroom, wash my hands, things like that. But drinking is purified or spring water from the grocery store. <laughs> and I'm sure you can tell that door didn't last very long with that Gorilla Glue. So that is something on the agenda to fix when I get back. Kentucky. 
question of the day. Do I want coffee or tea? What do you drink? Do you drink coffee or do you drink tea? Let's see. Let me know in the comments. drink caffeinated coffee very often because it gives you the jitters and heart palpitations and anxiety so I tend to stick with decaffeinated coffee and tea but every now and then I will treat myself to a drink at you know coffee shop but yeah I'm weird I know so I use like an almond creamer I like vanilla I'm pretty standard and then some stevia I don't like super sweet coffee I usually can just do it with no sugar but this isn't the greatest of instant coffees, so it needs a little, a little assistance. Whoop, making a mess. Good girl, almost done. And I made a mess, so let's clean this up. All right, jet broil is done. Whoop, perfect. Here's where we stayed at the Pelican Fishing Access in Montana. Wow, that was loud. All right, we're off. I'm gonna listen to some Joe Walsh, Rocky Mountain Way as we leave the Rocky Mountains and have a good old time. to Brodus, Montana. No side of the road hitchhiking needed. Alright, it was super cool to see the bison up close like that from a safe direction, but um, or from a safe distance. But right now we are at the picnic area here in the national park and we're gonna go inside, take a break from driving, make something to eat, get something to drink, and then we've got quite the trek ahead of us. So let's go get these poochies and take a break. I think I'm just gonna do a salad for lunch and let the boys get some water and take a break. And this has been my view for hours. Hours. If I didn't see a bison at the Theodore National Theodore Roosevelt National Park, I probably would not have thought that this route was worth it. <laughs> this looks just like Kansas and Nebraska and South Dakota. I don't know why I talk funny there. But anyways, we've been driving pretty much all day long. And we're pretty exhausted of driving. So I'm on the hunt for a rest stop or somewhere that I can camp. And I have to work tomorrow. So... Hmm. There's not really a whole lot going on out here for free camping-wise. So... 
I'm probably just gonna keep going for a few hours, maybe pick up some dinner when I get into Bismarck or something. I was gonna cook dinner, but at this rate, I might as well just keep driving until I find a rest stop because there's not, nothing out here. Um, but the plan is for me to go to the Pipestone National Monument in Minnesota next, and I think that's like a six hour drive from here. So if I can knock out a couple hours today, more hours today, I should say, I can, after work tomorrow, knock out a couple more, maybe get there tomorrow. I don't know. I'm in central time zone now, so I don't really have as much drive time after work as I have in, you know, mountain and Pacific time. So, oh, there's a little body of water right there. Not the most romantic of spots, but I've literally been driving for hours today trying to find free camping. So we're gonna park it here. At least there's a pretty sunset. Wow, it is toasty at 10 o'clock at night in South Dakota. Got the fan going making some basic rice and beans, literally kidney beans uh, with some seasoning and some uh, boil in a bag rice for dinner. What a day full of driving. <laughs> it was super cool though. I got to see bison. I got a new state I'd never been to. Tomorrow after work, I'm going to go into Minnesota, which is another state I've never been to. I'm getting super close to all 50 states. <sighs> so close. But right now I'm going to finish my half spilled beer, cook the rest of my dinner and call it a well-deserved night because I'm exhausted. So I will see you all on the next one. That'll be Minnesota, the Pipestone National Monument. Take care. Just your good old kidney beans and rice and some buttered bread with the Modelo. The camera's gonna pick it up, but I am a bug murderer. So sorry, buggies. All right, we are gonna start driving. So some of y'all have been making comments about my hair, so I thought I'd go ahead and just, you know, have at it. <laughs> oh boy, it's a hot day. It's already hot. It's getting hotter, and it's not gonna stop getting hot. So. We're just gonna embrace the heat and the hair that comes with it. <laughs> it's 96 degrees and getting hotter. At least there's a breeze. Guess what I found randomly on the road? A Kidoba. So before I moved out of my house, I was really bad at door dashing Kidoba. So now that I'm on the road, I've been doing really good. So I haven't really eaten a whole lot of Kidoba. So I thought, okay, let's stop at Kidoba. Well, guess what Kidoba is across the street from? A Walmart. So after I eat, I'm gonna run into Walmart and get my DEF because it is way too expensive to purchase it at a gas station. I have so much, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, you used to do that as a kid. <laughs> I have so much back sweat right now, it's not even funny. <laughs> Somewhere in the mix, I crossed into Minnesota. Whoop whoop, I'm one state close to the all 50, baby. Now that we've done the Pipestone National Monument, yeah, it was cool. It had a lot of Native American history, but um, 
I, I don't think I would make this a destination if it's your final destination. I think I would make it something like along the way. Uh, but that's up to you on what you want to do. So now I'm going to hit Wisconsin. Um, I think it's a good little bit of a drive. Let me see. We made it to camp and we are in Wisconsin and it's almost dark outside. This is a really nice rest stop. It's the Welcome Center. Um, I'm almost out of gas, so, or diesel. So I got to do that first thing when I hit the road tomorrow. But it is hot and humid. It is so muggy. This is gonna be interesting. Um, so I'm gonna go open all the windows, get some airflow going on. I got my fan. I'm gonna turn my fan on. We gotta get some dinner and go to bed because we gotta work tomorrow. Whew, next destination off. I've hit all of the new states that I was going to. Hit three states uh, in the last two days. Pretty awesome. So close to all 50. All right, I went ahead and washed my hair because it is so hot and humid. And I have a video chat tomorrow with my work, so I thought I'd go ahead and wash my hair. Oh my gosh, it's so humid here. <laughs> it's probably in the 80s right now, which is cooler than it was all day. It was 97 degrees at its peak today. Uh, I hope it drops tonight so I can cool off, but we are staying semi-cool. Uh, we got two fans going. I've got all the windows open, so dogs and I will be all right. I hope. Morning. I didn't think we were going to make it last night. That's the second or third night that it was like almost 90 degrees in the camper overnight. But, all right, I'm gonna get this day started. It's another hot one. I might cave. I might cave. I, I don't know, we'll see. I'm trying hard not to, but my dogs are my number one priority, so they seem to be okay. The moment they're not okay is the moment that I make adjustments. So, I have two fans. We're gonna see if that works. If not, we might be sitting in the truck until I can find a hotel <laughs> or a campground with hookups. Are you getting comfy in the heat? Snuggle up and go tell us you're so cute. Hi! Party. Come and carry us like wind in our Fiesta. 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 Oh, I found! <laughs> so I made it to Kentucky and we are at Havana Rumba drinking some beverages, cooling off of this humidity and this heat, and we're gonna have some really good food, plan our trip, because we're gonna hang out probably in Southern California later this year together and so we're going to start planning our trip so we're going to go do that but I wanted to check in with you all so I'll catch up with you all later. I made it to Louisville as you saw I saw Cindy and now we're heading to the lake house and I'm going to do some work on the camper. Seven years now on this boat 